Welcome to episode 5 of Blogger Talk. This one's going to be quite a quick one, and I'll say hello to you as I'm in the corner. So let's just get rid of me. And the part we're going to look at today is this area, which is down here, and I'm just going to highlight it for you, uh, because we have got this area here, which is my information panel and let's talk it through and if you want to create one like this because uh, going onto anybody's blog you want to know um, who the person is, where they're from, how to get hold of them, stuff like that. So what you'll find is going into the blogger panel we have Mike Downs Media which is a text box and to find the text box we can or to create a new one we type or click add a gadget which brings you into the selection panel and from here we have about 28 of them so you can have a look yourself this is on the basics level and we can go down and we can see the one we want keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going is this one here which is a text box if you click on that text box then it opens up and it will look something like this now the one that you'll open up will be completely blank what we've got here is probably about six or seven different things. Now the first thing is I've typed google.com forward slash Mike Downs plus Mike Downs. Now if you look at the text here and I'm, this is just a very quick introduction to any coding that hopefully you don't need because you could do the whole, th whole thing from typing and then selecting and then you can do add a link and then you can it, it will do the link automatically for you. These two are text let me show you the coding for the email. So I've typed Mike Downs Media at Gmail. Now can you see where it says mail to Mike Downs Media? Now the thing that all you need to type is mail to. Mail to Mike Downs Media or mail to whatever your address is of course. And that starts with just to show you a tiny piece of the coding which is that piece there. Okay so go back to the next one down which is a website. Again, type the website.com and just hit click. Now, I did tell you about these before, the three, two, and the one dots on here, which I quite liked. And I'll go to look at them for you now. And remember, I, I told you before that they do do things which go, and you can see that there's that single dot there, um, which links to Blogger, links to a new post, and links to my Blogger dashboard. For you, if you click on my blog it will do nothing apart from ask you for um, some blogger logins but I think it's, it's quite a nice one to have there because you can uh, if you've taken your nav bar out then you can click that and I'm going to show you what I mean so for an example if I let's see if I can find it want to open that link in a new tab then it will go down to open up to the blogger dashboard I've put start a hangout because uh, I quite like that one, Hangout on Air. Have I ever used it from my blog? I don't think so. This one here is a link to one of my, my talks in London, which is quite nice because um, I can find it. The one that I do like is the YouTube channel. Um, and I will say right now that I don't actually know what those two... I wonder what that does. I'm just going to highlight it and I'm going to right-click on it because I can't remember where it actually goes. I've obviously put it in there for it. It's a shortcut for something. That's and it's gone off to Google. Oh, it's a Google search. Ah, I did that actually for, for when I can visit my dog, uh, my dog, my blog in a public library or a local university that I go to where I can get to a Google search very, very quickly, which is a bit, a bit sneaky actually. So to sum up, that was episode five, very short one today.